Hey everyone, I'm Multiple456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 64 of Les Patton Dungan Ropper. One, two, reload. Alright, let's find out who's at the door. Oh, of course. <laughs> Ky Kyoko? I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, wait, Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. That is a hard word to read. Depths. <laughs> I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't just not go. All right, and we're in the dressing room. Ow, I'm right here. All right, um, sorry for asking you to meet, hang on. Sorry, sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean, does it have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key? But looking at it, I could tell it just I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma, it was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? However... The lock was broken. What? Right. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm not gonna just lay down and die. I will fight you. So, Sakura broke into the hair's master's room for That's us. That's right. That's right. So that we could uncover whatever secrets may might lay hidden within. She did that. For us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She or she'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. Yeah, good on you, Sakura. <laughs> Um, I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday, but if I'd just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct. Correct. And I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then... What you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba. Okay, I think this is like the third the or fourth time this has happened. <laughs> lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were Indeed. in there? I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but... One thing I do know is that Mukuro Ukosaba is dangerous. D dangerous? In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. Mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, it's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ukosaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway... Anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? So... I don't know yet, which is why... I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention? But we don't know. actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us... But they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Hey. Or maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess would be will be proven true. I think you missed mixing up correlation with causation there, Kyoko. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Also, this is actually something that I like to talk about. Um, not just correlation and causation, but I believe it's referred to, at least there's a program called QI, which is called, which stands for quite interesting. And it was, it talks about like random facts. It's from England. It's really cool. It was hosted by Stephen Fry and now so hosted by someone called Sandy Togsvig. And um, there was an episode where Stephen Fry was talk talked about Sherlock Holmes and said, what reasoning did he use? And people said deductive. And it was like the whole point of the show is that like the simple answer is not usually the correct answer in, in this case. 
And they said, no, no, he used abductive reasoning. And I think that's a perfect description of abductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is when the answer must be, it's the only possibility. You know, what's his famous line? Um, when you've eliminated the impossible, the only thing remaining, however improbable, must be the truth. That's deductive reasoning. But she's using abductive reasoning. She's saying, look, because we didn't caught, get caught the first time, if we don't get caught the second time, then that must be guarantee that he can't do both. But he could just be playing, you know, he could just be playing at it. So, um, yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Uh, as Kiriko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Okay. If it's true that the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true, and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward is, the risk is just too high, when I think what might happen if we fail. I don't think you need to worry all that much, after all. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Speak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words, in other words we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But if you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. I can't change how I feel, and wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it it uh, only open it if something ever happens to me. It, if something happens? However... I'm not planning on dying, but there is always a chance of it. And a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it, just because you asked me to. I realize that my voice acting for this bit hasn't been great, because it's hard to get her voice. I usually get her voice from speaking like Byakuya and then trying to change it slightly. So it's hard to remember how to do her voice all the time. So yeah, forgive me for that. But I'm going to give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Yes, of course. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, but... Then there's a chance the mastermind might fail. Uh, because there's, then there's a chance the mastermind might find, find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I can't just forget so, that easily. Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give him my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. The curt goodbye was no different from any other time, and like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine, I know it, because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety, and then I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here. I've got a bone to pick with you. Then a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out? Hey, hey! Hey, by the way... Huh? Most suspicious. What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you? In the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm. I bet you guys removed to conform with local and international censorship laws all over her, didn't you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away, far away from X-rated exploits. 
Oh, so this is... So that's why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Wow. Bullseye! Or, or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here. Now what do you want? Oh, well, um... There's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella. Actually... But in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. Um, actually there is. <laughs> Seriously? My entire existence! <laughs> Th then what am I? My entire existence? This is kind of depressing. That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or ursine breeding tips? This is just crazy. Are all pu pu pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? What the heck? God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and boop, that's it. What was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out! Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Phew. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine. Right? I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Alright, we got, I think this is two Monokuma theatres in a row. This is probably the last bit. Ooh, look Monokuma at that TV. Theater, brought to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited. Hmm, I wonder what that is on the TV there. Oh well, maybe one day we'll find out. Monokuma Theatre, brought to you by Spike Junsoft Co. Limited. Now we got another one. This super stylish, super fashionable game is created by Spike Chunsoft? Then we've gotta buy it now! Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends, too! That's a good idea. If you're still watching, well, I'm very happy. I hope you're enjoying it, too, because we're getting really to the pointy end of this game now. Things are gonna get even better. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Alright, here we go. My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Alright, let's go do that. How much time we got left? Yeah, we got a little bit of time left. Alright. Flying to the dining hall. Oops, not close enough. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So let's go through this sequence of events, see what we can get. What? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? S sorry I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hmm. I don't recall giving you permission. Huh? Uh, I just thought, I mean, since it, today had passed, it had maybe re reset? S -s 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 Sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my p punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign from my neck that says bad girl. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Th thank you. I won't make any more d disgusting comments, I p promise. If I do, you can st stuff my mouth full of trash. That was the wrong start of it. As long as it's you and no one else, I d don't mind. It's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be... Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for a wedding, for anything. Um... 
maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore. As far as I'm aware, because she gave her key to Byaki, you guys said she would be breaking the school rules, so wouldn't you assume that she's basically been killed? <laughs> I can't tell the elders why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... No? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Ah, are you all looking for Miss Kirigiri? What? 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 what do you want now? Hey, hey! I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? D do you know where she is? Ooh. Hmm, well, it's hard to say. Huh? huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Uh -huh. Hey! Don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bullcrap? This is very I feel like suspicious. I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night, which could mean... Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? Hey. Hey. So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. We have no idea. And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. For serious. Hmm. hmm, I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um... Don't you think we all should... Uh, don't, don't you think we, all, we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? Oh, fantastic. We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Alright, this is really good timing because now I'm going to quickly check. So we've actually got our last two segments of free time, one after the other here. Phew, breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Alright, so we've got free time. Let's have a quick look. I want to spend my last free time segments with... Um, with... Uh, Bloody Hina. So, don't have a G sick. And I don't think I have anything else for her. Damn. Alright, that sucks. Um, well, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly use this opportunity. And I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yes, I was supposed to be here. I'm going to use these last few minutes to try and um, secure some presents for her. Now, here's the thing. Because this is the last free time segment, I think it actually doesn't matter. Like, I don't need to do my little... Uh, you know, put five coins in, if I don't get anything good, then do it again. Um, but what I will do is, because at this point, that, like, we have to now collect all the presents. You don't have to do it within the confines of the, the game, I don't think. God, that's a low repeat percentage for... I did really well in terms of getting the presents. Um, yeah, you need to obviously collect all the presents, but I believe you can still do it in free time later on, or in post-game, I should say. Like, you'll be given uh, more opportunities to do it after you complete the game, basically. So I don't think you have to get everything um, just yet. So what I'm going to do is probably just um, dump a bunch of coins into here. I need to get at least two presents that um, that uh, Hina is in into. Um, and then once I get all that, I can go talk to her twice. She has a few presents that she likes. She likes the flotation donut. She likes the G-Sick, she likes the Water Lover present, which is like a swimsuit. Uh, what else? She likes the Astral Boy doll. And... God, this is going well, actually. I'm getting a whole bunch of new new items. And I think she likes one more thing, but I can't remember what it is. Yay, lucky. Come on, give me something. Probably gonna have a tough time getting what I need. Oh, we'll see. The G-Sick is the, is the watch. Just a watch. Rose Whip, this is good. Nice, I didn't even have that. <laughs> da, da, da. Nope. 
I'll just keep going since we're like pretty much at the end of this episode anyway. Rose in vitro. Don't think she likes that one. Come on. Uh -uh. It's much. Oh, kitten hair clip. That's the other one. I remembered it now. So flotation donut, kitten hair clip, G sick water lover, and astral boy doll. It's those. Oh, yeah, I remembered. I, d I don't even have the thing open with me right now. Okay, this is getting really annoying that I'm not getting what I need, but I am getting a lot of new ones, so that's good. Regardless of what happens, I'm going to save here at 700 coins because I've been getting a bunch of new stuff for only spending one coin, so that's good. Hmm, bunny earmuffs. I'm surprised she doesn't like that one. Well, she probably likes it but doesn't love it. There's uh, the one for Hifumi. Alright, let me back out. So even though I didn't get what I wanted, like for her, I'm still going to save because I got a bunch of new presents, so that's good. And I guess what I'll do, just trying to work out. Alright, I'll spend another five coins and if I don't get what I need, I'll just end the episode and I'll see how I can do it next time. Nope, not that one. Always takes a little bit longer to add the second coin for some reason. Just the way they designed it, I guess. 40%. Okay, that one. Going well. See, even at 50%, like I, I would still have a 50% chance to get something new. So, using one coin at a time for a while is pretty good. Got a War Charm. Oh, I didn't have that one. That would have been good for Sakura. Okay, well, I didn't get it. That's okay. Oh, hang on. Maybe I spoke too soon. Come on, give me that flotation donut or whatever. Nope. Is that new? No. Okay, whatever. Um, Alright, so I'm going to end the episode and I don't know if I'll do it off screen. Maybe I'll do it off screen. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out um, before next episode. So, yeah. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 60... Oh, I've forgotten. 64. I'm pretty sure. 64 of Let's Platinum Dung and Romper. 1, 2, Reload. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.